someone, some of you might be wondering why I didn't kill the, uh, why I didn't kill, we'll call them Yoel, but fe female Yoel? Yoelita? <laughs> because, uh, there was a, a sign on the ground saying assassin, but honestly, a lot of NPC, a lot of comments on the ground just lie to you about people anyway. Try stabbing, they say, at the Firelink Shrine character and stuff like that. But also, I just, I'm curious about this storyline. Let's follow this storyline and see where it goes, because I don't know where any of the storylines go yet, and that's what's interesting. Welcome, Very well I'll go ahead and, oops. So I've got my endurance up, I've got my vigor up. I'm going to go back into dex now, I think. Yeah, one point gives me three damage is not bad. But we're going to need another 20,000 to level up again. Do you have any new dialogue, by the way? Welcome, Let's see. Ashen one, to be on nope. That's the usual dialogue. That is all the usual dialogue. So let's check out the item itself. The boss soul that I must have around here. Soul of Pontiff Sullivan. Uh, used to require many souls. Pontiff Sullivan of Irithil imprisoned a god of the old royalty in the abandoned cathedral to be fed to the devourer. Huh. The abandoned cathedral has an imprisoned god. Nope, that's the wrong staircase. I want to see what I can get for it. Let's put my shield back on. I took my shield off in an attempt to increase my rolling power. Not really, not my rolling, I mean my, I mean my stamina recovery. Because if it works like old games, that probably affects things. I realized I wasn't going to use my shield very much because it, st it staggers and stops me. My best, my best chance at succeeding was to continually dodge and just get better at dodging. And that seemed to work because I... I think that was my third attempt. Yeah, I want to say third. I had one, I had one bad attempt in the middle. Alright, so... Taking a look around real quick. Pontiff Sullivan. Great Sword of Judgment. Uh, strength, Dexterity, and Intelligence required, and it scales with D with all of them. A ceremonial, a ceremonial sword, sword held in Pontiff Sullivan's left hand, representing the Judgment of the Moon, but with magic far closer to sorcery than any existing lunar power. Its dark blue hues, deeper than the darkest the darkest moon, reflect Sorcerer Sullivan's true nature. Skill, Stance of Judgment. Assume stance to unleash dark magic. Use normal attack as a lunging thrust and strong attack to emit side-sweeping wave. Ooh, you get the wave attack that he was doing. That's cool. And the, and the thrust, apparently. That's That could be an interesting weapon that just has a fun moveset, potentially. It would probably, due to potential rarity, it might even catch some people by surprise in PvP. Weird that it says deeper than the darkest moon, because I'm thinking like you only see a, you only ever see a moon from reflected light. Otherwise, it's just not it's just pitch black. So I'm like, what? Also, it almost seems to be written in a way to imply there's more than one moon. I don't think there is in this world, is there? This is a high strength weapon, the, the profaned great sword, ceremonial sword held in Pontus uh, Sullivan's right hand. Representing the profound, the profaned flame. Long ago, when Sullivan was a was yet a young sorcerer, he discovered the profane capital and an unfading flame below a distant tundra of Irithil, and a burning ambition took root within within him. I don't think that that's probably it, right? He had two swords. Yep, that's the full screen. That's all. That's all, folks. Unless he has a new spell. Nope. All right. So you get your rewards to get his two swords. Do you have any new dialogue? Nope. Nope. That's the same dialogue as before. Yeah, not a ton of new stuff. If you guys, some some people have wondered, uh, wish said they wish that I would talk to di uh, talk to people in town more often. Oftentimes, what's going on is I talk to people in town and then no new dialogue happens, so I just skip that part in the video. <laughs> but there we go, new boss down, and so we return to the Pontiff's chambers. Time to explore, see if there's any random items staggered about. By the way, I, I did say, uh, Gwendolyn instead of Guinevere earlier. To be fair, they both have girl names, which, you know, is part of the lore of Gwendolyn, obviously, being a boy raised as a girl, and all that. But, uh, easy enough mistake to make. Maybe they should have different freaking names in their family. What do you do? Does not move. Must move something. Ooh, there's a whole second floor up there to explore somewhere. Maybe that's how I- ooh, maybe going up there is how I get to the top area of the, uh, the church. Because the church has- Oh yeah, maybe maybe beating this boss is how I explore the rest of this area. Can't I open this? It has a, a lock on this side. Chica! Nope. But yeah, there you uh, The church that I was using as a bonfire had a drop-down that leads into the church. 
but I don't know how to get there necessarily. Can I pray here or something? There's just a bunch of doors that I don't seem to be able to interact with. In fact, I don't see a seam in there. I could be wrong, but it looks like it might not even have a seam. It might be literally one solid object with no door in the middle. Which would mean that you pr it probably doesn't open. Makes me wonder what the contraption is. Does, it does the contraption bring down the chandeliers? Huh. Message. Praise the champion. That's not useful to me. If I was a dick, I would I would vote down I would vote down those ones just for existing because I don't like I don't really like the uh, when there's celebratory messages. I'm always a little bummed out because I'm like, no, I thought you would tell me something useful. All right, what's past here then? Hi. I don't see bad guys, but I hear crystal lizard. Ooh, yeah, this, this it's more of the same area. It looks like continuing onward. What's that out there? Have I been there yet? Keep forgetting I have this sometimes. Yep. That is a bridge of some kind. And if I yeah, attacking attacks. Not to, not zoom. Be wary of wretch. Oh. No planned encounter in, uh, in, ahead. What? Oh no. Hit. Yeah. Huh, huh, huh. Come back, be a little bastard. There we go. Just awkward enough, huh? Twinkling Tide Knight. I'll have to come back and get the other one at some point. I probably could have ferried them. Oh yeah, if you handle it just right, you could probably run at them like this, then quickly go to the side, and you probably could ferry them both into the same weird fountain corner and hit them at the same time. But for now, I think I'll have to rest at a bonfire before I get the chance to attack the other one. Whoa. That does not look great. <laughs> that pillar going down to the floor just had a weird, awkward connection with no... no rocks to, like, sort of disguise how flat the bottom of the cylinder is. There's something endearing about that. The more I play from software games, like I, I'm, I'm always aware of the weird little corners they cut in the background details, and they so, they so consistently cut those corners that it just, it's almost like I'd, 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 I'd be surprised if it didn't happen, and almost disappointed <laughs> at some point. Ah, didn't respawn. They'll probably respawn later when I reload the game or something. That's fine. We'll leave that for later. So two directions we can go in. This one almost looks like a dead end from here. All right, good confirmation. What do we have? Large tide knight. Give me chunks, damn it! I'm I need chunks now. Hello. Not a, not a ton going on. Ooh, a courtyard down there. It's big and empty and looks repeaty. So I don't know if I should think it's a boss fight chamber or if I should just think it's a background detail. I'm thinking it's probably in the background though. Oh yeah, it took. It looks like they took random buildings and just popped them on top of that uh, roof. And some of them are even a little crooked and weird looking. One of those details you're not supposed to look too closely at then. I don't see anything down there to interact with. Let's check this wall for like secrets or a weird archway sticking out of it. Nope, no messages on the on the ground, no nothing. Alright, up we go. Check behind. Always. Let me guess. Pointless. Tight spot ahead. Yep. You might even say that it it closes to a point. The tightest thing of them all. Alright. Tall freaking building. Hey! A drop down point to taunt me into thinking, hey, there must be a way to get there. I wonder how. Whoa. Hi. Giants. We're finding, we're, we're finding more dead giants than live ones. I guess I sort of set the precedent so I should feel bad. No items there. That character looks like an NPC? They're standing alone in a dramatic room, so I'd be surprised if they attacked me. They're, I figure they're either a boss fight or a NPC that you can talk that you can talk to at this point. What am I hearing? I'm hearing breathing. You know what? We'll check out the side area later. Let's just go forward for now and find out what's going on here. Are these asleep or dead? That's snoring. Soul of a weary warrior, which is fitting when it's surrounded by sleeping things. Aldrich Faithful Kara. Is Kara an NPC or a... Uh, or what? Hi. 
What's your deal, huh? Huh. Oh. It's probably a human, actually, judging by the annoying use of that goddamn sword everyone uses from the Abyss Watchers. Oh yeah, they're just gonna try to spam that attack to try to catch me off guard. Oh yeah, you're probably a player. Host of Embers? What does that mean? I'm the host. Ow. Why you- why does it say you're a host? Hey, buddy. Come on over. How you doing? Oh my god. How many of the- how many of these people are there? If he's the host, am I- it doesn't say that I'm a host too? Are we all players fighting each other? Are we all fighters? I think we might all be human players fighting each other over and over again. Do they just summon people? Are they all gonna attack me now? Oh, well this is shitty. Oh, well, shit, fuck me. Good thing there was a bonfire recently, huh? <sighs> so I guess you just get attacked for being there? Said Aldrich Faithful. That's like that's specific covenant invading me, so it must be another invasion location. Weird. Oh well, not much of a walk back. And no one should be able to invade me fast enough to stop me from getting my souls back, so it's not too big of a loss besides the ember. Which is now gone, so I guess I can explore the place freely. I don't know if I want to ember again if I'm gonna get invaded by that many people at once. Or all, who are all mobbing me simultaneously. Being a member of the, uh, Blue Covenant did not help me that time. Maybe it would eventually. But yeah, that- there was a bit of latency going on there, because I was getting hit by both of them simultaneously, even though they weren't both... Like, the other one was pretty far away at that moment. Oh god. Like, too far away to be hitting me at that moment. Wow, so if I went forward a little bit, I would have been attacked by these characters... ...that are like the, uh, the Deacons. The blue ones we saw. Just taking a look around. Don't mind me. Oh man, they're aggressive, aren't they? Oh, a giant's getting up. Ow. There's a giant getting up. There's a lot of shit going on around here. There's multiple attacking NPCs. There's spellcasters upstairs. And... What's your guys' deal, huh? He's purple, for some reason. Poke, 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 poke. Nope. That's a nope poke. Poke, 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 poke. Oh, out of stamina, huh? Oh, come on, why can't I roll? I was really stuck there, huh? Didn't seem to have an escape. Poke, poke. <laughs> it's fun. Come on. Bye. You guys want to join? What's your deal, huh? So why are there multiple NPC invaders and multiple flame spellcasters and a, and a giant here and real and real player invaders all in one place, huh? But yeah, unfortunately, it appears that the uh, part of the meta right now is for people to just spam that annoying Artorius of the Abyss sword all at once. So there's a lot of people online right now just spamming that annoying spin attack and just having no apparent strategy when they're fighting and it's really fucking boring to be honest. Because I keep encountering people that are just like, I'm going to do the rolly dash at you, and I'm just going to keep using it and hope it works eventually. Ow. It's embarrassing when NPCs have more varied and interesting tactics than you do. Which, like, this guy is actually varying his attacks. Unlike that invader I dealt with. Poop. I got the advantage there, though. So are they gone for good? The Drang Twin Spears. So we got another Drang item now. The Drang Twin Spears. Descaling with strength and dexterity. Uh, paired spears of the Drang Knights. Proclaimed descendants of the land known for the legend of the linking of the fire. When the Drang Knights disbanded, they scattered across the lands as sellswords. They quickly became known for shieldless aggressive tactics that struck fear in the hearts of men. Huh. So I... So Drang Knights have to be Drang Lake, right? It's just like an outdated name that got mutated over time. Could it, it's their, their descendants from the legend for linking the fire, and, and Drang Lake is one of the locations where the fire was linked. And they're known for these aggressive tactics where they don't where they don't use shields. 
Which makes sense, because that's a reference to Dark Souls 2, a game where you get power stance. Like this. So here's my two spears. Where you can do two, you can attack with two spears at once. That could be a fun little move set. Don't have the stats for it right now. It might not be part of this build, but it might be. I might use it sometime. It's a neat little weapon, at least. It's the fact that the giant's still there weirds me out a little bit. I might Ember just to see if I get invaded again, just to see how it goes for the fun of it. But first, I want to just try exploring the area. We'll try to listen, because a lot of these areas have ghosts that try to attack me. So here are the fire, the fire casters. Oh. Hi! I mean, if there's a Covenant around here, maybe I can join it and be one of those douchey invaders. There's a lot of guys up here. Holy crap. Oh, man. Alright. Like, that guy's significantly less staggered by my attacks. Oh, never mind. I'm sitting here talking about how that guy doesn't stagger and then he topples over from one of the attacks. Go figure. Go figure. There's a lot of, dr there's a lot of directions to go in up here. I thought it would just be a, a quick balcony. Alright, we'll try this door next. What's the deal here? We're going back inside the building? Oh, we're upstairs. Oh, there we go. That's one mystery solved. Any ceiling attackers? Anyone gonna ambush me up here? It's looking like this area, the part of this game... Ooh, there's the elevator that takes me up, huh? Not as... Not quite as interesting after you've already found the shield. I mean, the uh, bonfire, and you have the... Qu and it's a really short path to get around, but... At least now we know what the deal is with that contraption does not move situation. So if for some reason I'm too lazy to walk in a circle, I can go this way. This might be one of those zones though where the uh, exploring it after the uh, boss is dead takes just as long as exploring it before the boss was dead. Because there's just a surprising amount of extra. Alright, there's a symbol pointing at you. Oh, your chain's pointing forward. I know what happens here. Friend! I could have thrown a Hunter Charm at him, I guess, but eh. He's all, he's all dopey. Who's okay with your dopey? Oh. What was that sound for? I'm worried. Don't make sounds at me, game. Freak me out. Oh. Oh. Getting stuck in his legs. Watch out. Dead? Aw. He makes sad sounds. Golden Ritual Spear. Hello. B scaling with Dex is another. I mean, not, I mean not Dex. Uh, uh, faith. Another faith scaling spear. It's a spear thrust, steady chant. A ritual spear presented to Dark Moon Knights before Sullivan claimed the title of Pontiff. Can also be used as a staff. Sorcery is cast us using this weapon to channel the wielder's faith. Weird. Boost the strength of sorceries for a short time. So it's a interesting. So it's a spear that scales with faith and supposedly would use your... I, th I think it seems to imply that it would use your faith score to decide how strong your sorceries are. So maybe you could even use it to... Yeah, I don't know. Maybe you, you, maybe then you just need the basic intellect required to cast the sorcery in the first place, but then can use that spear to, ca to attack with, with high strength. Strength is the hard, wrong word to use in this context, given the fact that it's a stat. Lizard head. Yeah, I think I saw a glowy bit back there. Hey, glowy, glowy, glowy. Yeah, I hear it now. Lizard. There we go. Just fast enough. Simple gem, that's a new one too. And <laughs> just flat out has a pyramid shape. Creates a simple weapon. A gem of infused titan is said to be an object of infatuation for victims of stunted development. Used in, to an infusion to create simple weapons. Simple weapons inflict magic damage and restore FP gradually to help even a simpleton muster some metal. Interesting. So if you have so if you have a simple weapon, you just keep getting uh FP all the time. So it's like it's for people who don't wanna uh, don't wanna have any ashen flasks on them basically, but always want to be able to occasionally use certain new skills. There be the spells or whatnot. So there's one little corner up there. Can I not get over there? Also, just to check. Nope. So the, there's the opposite corner that doesn't have a connecting path. Is there a 
Is there a platform over there? There's a platform over there, but I don't see any signs on the ground. I don't see any items from here glowing. And I don't see a staircase that leads there. I wonder if it's a false balcony. There might not be a path to go up there at all. I don't see an elevator anywhere. I've... I'm not entirely sure, but I think I've heard that in some actual buildings they make false balconies, basically, where there's just a balcony you can't get to because no, no part of the plan's involved getting there, but, uh, they built it anyway just for the sake of, like, symmetry and whatnot. So here's the last, that last item we saw on the drop-down, right? Yep, there it is. Lars, damn it. <laughs> I guess I'm just not in the part of the game yet where, uh, Titanite chunks are common. We'll get there, though. And then the rapier will become even more damaging. More damaging. More, more. That doorway is interesting. I assume that I can't open it and that it's only openable from the opposite direction. Yep. So we have, we definitely have some exploring to be doing then. I have almost no doubt that this is going to ultimately lead me to the that uh, drop down that leads into the church. So we, ha we have a zone to explore for sure. Alright. Alright. There's, there's, a lot of, there's a lot of people mad at me right now. I'm going to prioritize everyone who's not fat. Oop. Because the fat ones don't fall over, but everyone else gets staggered when I hit them. Which is nice. Oh, he's alive. Crap. Awkward. You are supposed to die. I apologize for this inconvenience. This momentary confusion. Hup. Anything around here? Ooh. Oh. Never mind. I thought I was going be I thought I was going behind the building. Not much going on there. Howdy. Yep. You get the special treatment. Extra attention. Yep. Oh, I almost feel bad. Almost. Not really. I know. No, not really. I only I'm only really going to feel bad when I kill an Astrea. I'm being shot at by a All right. We're in a place with flying buttresses and whatnot, and I'm getting shot at by a freaking giant bow. Brings back memories. Although it has the lighting, it has the lighting engine of Bloodborne instead of Van Orlando. 